I got my hand on the Mommy Cozy Auto Bottle Washer. Oh my god. I'm super excited just because it's a great time to be alive. You have no idea. I've been washing bottle day and night and during the day in every pump sessions. I gotta do this open box today and in a couple of days I'll give you my honest review. And if that video is launched by the time you watch this, you can always find it in this little corner. I'll come back and add this to this video. But let's get this baby out. And this is what it looks like if you have never seen it before. I chose this specific model because I feel like the baby breast is just a little bit longer. Although it seems slimmer, I compare the length of them. And it is not actually a lot longer at all. So open up the box. You can see there is a manual and you can go through everything that is in it, set it aside. I've actually opened this box right when we first got it and I immediately put it back because I wanted to do an open box with you guys. The machine actually comes wrapped in this poly bag. I'm just gonna gently pull this out of the box a little bit. Harder to do without the bag. Set it down here. I chose this machine because it's a little bit more square. It would sit nice and not in the way on my kitchen counter because I have a really small apartment at the moment. It wouldn't work for us as it would be like really, really like slim, but a lot longer, which is what the baby breast cell look like. So I really like the fact that this is a bit more square overall. Now it has a tank on the back, but even with the tank, it's not as long as the baby breast. The depth of this is 13.4 inches versus the baby breast of 18.5. So significantly different with the 18, it's gonna come out this wide. And with my kitchen counter, there's no way that you can maneuver around the kitchen to get to the sink because this machine needs to be next to the sink. The baby breast that you don't have to place it by the sink for a reason because it has two different tanks. There is a water tank and there is a dirty water tank and you have to dump out the dirty water tank. I chose this one because I figured it would be easier for maybe like my fiance to put in clean water and then have a tube running into the sink. In general, like having someone else to use the machine and not having to explain to them so much because everybody knows to put in new water into a tank, you know? Not everybody will think that, oh, this there's a dirty water I must dump out. So anyway, I feel like it's just a little bit more user-friendly than the baby breast I really like the fact they only had the one tank and because of that, you do have to place this machine next to a sink because it comes with a tube that goes to the sink. And we're gonna set that up in a second. It comes with 60 tablet of detergent tablets. I'm not sure if a baby Bressa will come with tablets at all. I will find out and put it on the screen. But the Mommy Cozy come with 60 detergent tablets. It said, remove stubborn milk films and odor. It is non-toxic and hypoallergenic, baby safe, and it's fragrant free. We love fragrant free. I use everything fragrant free for my little girl. It's really easy. Place one tablet in the machine. Washer detergent tray for each wash cycle. Tablet will dissolve during washing and rinse clean. Just gonna open this so you all can see what the tablet looks like. So open up. Oh, comes with the comes with two little bags. Um, I'm just gonna open this. Is that tablet? Oh, it's actually it's tiny. That's a tablet. Kind of smells like detergent, to be honest, for something that they claim to be fragrant-free, but okay. Other than that, 
this tang hold up to 2.5 liter. And it's quite easy. So I'm guessing back here you have the tube and then you have the plug in. Or if you have idea, turn it out. And this tube come with these suction and I'm guessing it just like sucks into the kitchen counter or wherever you want to place this. And let's see. It has the little like L shape. So I'm thinking since my kitchen would be on this side, I want the machines on the left side. My kitchen sink would be on the right side. Then my tube, I will plug it in like this. It's actually rubber, so nice and easy, very silent. It's like on there, pretty good. The height of this whole thing, including the lid, is 15.9 inches. And the width of this is 9.85 inches. They have this blue tape that you take off. Opening up the lid. There's some weight to this, maybe like two pounds. Ooh, it kind of smells like plasticky, but to be expected, I saw that you can put pump parts and whatever else in here. Or if you had something else that like a lot of like other things that like has a little height to it, you can also turn it this way. And I really like that. This is another things that stand out to me versus a baby breast out. I don't see that there is options of like maneuver and moving things around. I really like having options when it comes to just about anything because, you know, why not? So that is that. You can use it both way. And then the inside kind of look insane. Looks like this. So, so can... in the website, it said that you can use, you can put wearable pump parts, traditional pump part, toy teether, even baby tablewares, like big plates and stuff. And that was another thing that drew me to this machine versus baby breast saw because the baby breast saw, it looks like you can't put any big objects in there. You couldn't find right. anything on their website. In the manual, you can put these for pacifier and obviously these to hang on to milk bottles. If these are the nozzle cleaning for bottle interior so i'm guessing the bottle goes in here and it like squirrels into the bottle and then um this tray up here i oh okay i see so like you'll use it this way to put parts and that's why the lid has a bit of a height to that you put bottle cap nipple screws so if you have like a tall bottles you can put the tray up this way. But let's say you have like a four ounce bottle and you have a lot of pump things that just fill over. You can use it the other, placing the tray the other side. Oh, and it said in here of the manual that you could remove these as needed. Oh, okay. I just... Pull it off so it can be removed. You just pull it off, I guess. But I'm guessing these pacifier things can be removed as well. Okay, so it's kind of like Lego in a way that it has the base. It's just like kind of pulled it over, but you can just easily pull it off. I if you don't use it for a bottle and you use it for spoons or other things you can pull all of this off and this can just be a mini washer that's really nice and that's another thing too like yeah baby drink a bottle right now but what if they're eating solid food and you no longer use this machine for bottles then you can use this machine just solely for your baby tanger and other thing and pacifier they're a little bit grown let's say they're like a year old or even two year old. So I really like that. My baby is two months old, but I do think buying anything for her for the long run, not just a couple months, because this is a, such an expensive item. 
Okay, so instruction for washing detergent tablets. Put detergent tablet into the bottle compartments. I, there's really not like a specific area, kind of like your dishwasher, where you go to put your detergent. I think it just like dissolves. So you just drop them in here. I'm not sure what this is for. Like I was just wondering why is this rubber, but I, it's not just a static because I just tried to turn the other way and you can see that does not fit. So this, this front and back is kind of indicate to you however you wanted to turn it. It's front and back of the machine as well. So I think there's an other part to this machine as well that needs to be installed. So the next thing we're going to look at is the bottom of this machine. We have a filter. There's an air filter back here and you can or need to replace this when this is super dirty. So just pop this in here for now. And voila. So with that, there is a sticker instruction, which I love. And there's just also a barcode to watch an instruction video if you need a quick help. But I love that there is instruction on here to like remind you a quick start guide. I don't love that it's all the way they stick it on here. It's really all bubbly. I don't know. I'm OCD, so that's bothering me. But there's quick wash and dry mode, normal wash and dry mode, sterilized only, dry and storage only. And there's also a little bit of warning and tips. And I'm guessing this is a nicely touch button. I think the baby Bressa is like pressing button and I have their bottle warmer and it's those buttons are very hard so I'm excited just to go boop 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 you know and there's also like there's different mode on here too so I'm guessing that would be easy but that's it for this open box I'm gonna go to my kitchen and try this little baby out for myself and possibly film the entire first time use for you guys if you guys are interested i'll also link it up here if you watch this by the time it launched and yeah so i cannot wait and i'll see you guys over there gotta go bye